Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about hairstyling to 14 in here. And uh, for you guys who don't know me, my name is Alex, and I was suffering hair loss for several years before I was able to recover and get full set of hair like I have now. And uh, in the times when I was having hair loss, uh, one of the biggest challenge I was actually having was to style my hair because it was very hard to kind of comb away uh, those bald areas, those uh, thinning temples, the uh, crowns that I had at that time. And it was not helping that I ha was having diffuse thinning as well, right? So it was like a, I had diffuse thinning and uh, basically it, it kind of means that I was losing hair all around my, uh, my top area. Plus I also had a doppa uh, on, on the sides, so also thinning out on the sides as well. And it was super challenging to style my hair at that time, right? So uh, I was trying like uh, to kind of hide it. I was trying to style my hair on the front. Uh, it did look okay for some time, right? But after some time, uh, hair loss started to kind of progress and it become harder and harder to hide it. And uh, I remember that at one point, even my hairdresser uh, kind of suggested to uh, cut my or take a shave off as a part of uh, my hairline to make my hair look uh, more filler up, right? This was uh, his suggestion back when I was having hair loss thinning. So, of course, I did not do that. But uh, my advice for you guys who do have a hair loss, who do experience hair thinning, is to take action and do something about it, right? Because if you just let it uh, kind of naturally uh, progress, it will become harder and harder to style the hair, and it will also be harder and harder to get back regrow. Right? So it is, there is always time factor. So you never wait too long to address this hair loss issue. Find a solution right away and it will be better for you long term as well. Right? And uh, in my case, I was waiting far too long to try to solve it. Uh, I was waiting for uh, several years before I kind of admitted to myself that there was a problem that needs to be solved. Right? And uh, for most guys, it is basically DHT that is the issue, right? So if it is a DHT or hormonal imbalance that is the issue, then you can try to address it, right? And uh, hopefully it will be enough, right? Because uh, uh, there are guys who have just DHT problem, right? And by taking DHT blockers or allowing DHT, they can slow down the hair uh, loss progression and they can also get some uh, results. Right? So it is quite simple. Uh, in my case, m m I, it was much harder to uh, solve it because I was also having scalp inflammation. I had uh, several allergies. I was having uh, basically diet problems, uh, stress issues, and of course DHT as well. And it was a bad mix altogether. Right? So for me, it was much more challenging to address and solve it. But if you just have DHT issue, like your DHT is too high and it leads to hair fall, then uh, lowering DHT by DHT blockers, and it doesn't mean it has to be finasteride, but it can be natural DHT blockers, if your hair loss is not that progressed, then you can basically uh, stop uh, future progression and uh, kind of solve it, right? It is fully possible. So uh, for you guys who have this issue, just try check out what kind of DHT levels you are having, find out uh, what kind of uh, thing it can be a potential possibility for you to try out and uh, do something about this problem. Don't try to hide it away, don't try to mask it away like I did because if you just lose the time, you make uh, much more pressure in yourself because you kind of know that there is a problem, right? Like I was, I, I didn't want to admit to myself that there was a hair thinning, so I was trying to comb my hair in different styles and try to kind of mask it away. And uh, even I was using hair fibers at some point, right? So it's, uh, it was not a good situation to be in and it uh, gave a lot of pressure on me, on my mindset and the way I was kind of interacting with other people. So never let things uh, go too far, right? Take action as fast as possible when you see there is a problem. And for you guys who need help with hair loss and who want to solve it and who have tried if you have tried different treatments and it still hasn't worked for you and uh, you are committed to do something about it and uh, you want to have guidance and help from somebody who has been able to achieve results, uh, schedule a call, blob studio, let's talk and see how I can help you.